Hi guys and welcome to another Cisco video and today I'm going to talk all about hostname resolution. So hold on another lot of questions and we'll start off with 246. Which of the following DHCP commands would you use to specify that the address pool is to configure the default gateway on client computers? Quite a long question we got there. Uh, we've got so DHCP config default gateway address default router address in the same config and we've got default router in and then address default gateway and address again so you'd probably say you wouldn't be in this mode I always forget what this mode's called but we're in DHCP config mode so we eliminate those two automatically and in the end it's coming down to simple syntax and the answer is B configure default router and then address I would have figured it would have been the other answer but um, syntactically that's the correct answer 247 clients are no longer receiving IP addresses from the DHCP server running on your Cisco router. You suspect the DHCP service may have been shut down. How can you start it? That's probably a decent guess if that's uh, the case. You've got start DHCP, net start DHCP, IP start DHCP, and then service DHCP. Ooh, how can we start it? So this is simply a command. Again, syntax it is deep service DHCP. 248, you have configured the DHCP service on your router as a backup DHCP service. You wish to stop the DHCP service so that the addresses are not being handed out till you need the service. What command would you use to stop the service? Many times I said DHCP and service is unreal. I could only get a dollar for every time I said it. No DHCP, no service DHCP, no DHCP service, no services DHCP. So it could be any one of these and it is B. No service DHCP. And this is quite a long one. Uh, you want to configure DHCP on your router to give out IP addresses for the second subnet of 192.168.3.0 mask 27. The addresses should be released to the clients for seven days. What commands would you use? I'll quickly sort of run over this. Um, so having a look through DHCP pool isn't, um, I guess, what's the word, descriptive enough, that, and that's probably wrong from the outset. So that leaves us with three here, and then we've got no address with D, so we can't even assign it to an, an address or subnet. So it eliminates D as well, so pretty much we're ending up with A and C. And the answer is actually C in this case. So we've got the command here, which is to get a pool happening for the second subnet of the New York network, and then assigning it to this address here with that subnet, and that's a, the syntax for uh, for seven days. The actual reasoning behind it would be to do with the address there being 32, as it is a mask 27. Pretty complicated sort of subnetting question, so I can't. I won't go into too many details there. Uh, you are monitoring DHCP usage on your router. What command would you use to see how many DHCP related messages the router has received? But show DHCP, show IP DHCP service statistics, show DHCP statistics, show IP DHCP. Again, it's a command, so it is B. Show IP DHCP service statistics. Usually Cisco's commands are pretty short and sweet, but on that occasion, it's one of those ones where it's just a bit longer to find out that information. 251, you're administering the DHCP service on your Cisco router and would like to look up at the, we'd like to look at the DHCP leases. What command would you use? Got show IP DHCP leases, show DHCP, show IP DHCP binding, show DHCP leases. What well, command? That is always down to simple syntactic information. It is C. On this occasion, show IP DHCP binding. Had I not known any better, I probably would have elected with A, but um, the answer is C on this occasion. 252, the viewer list of IP addresses given to clients on the network by Cisco router DHCP service. What command do you use? Show binding, show IP DHCP binding, show IP Translations show IP DHCP translations. And what do we want to do here? So, had I not known any better, I probably would have gone show IP translations, C or D. The answer is though, B, show IP DHCP binding. 
And that's all, folks. Thanks heaps for joining in today. Really appreciate you joining in on the Cisco show. And I've got my website there, onlinecomputercoaching.com. It's got plenty more content on there for you guys. All free. Free as a whistle. So um, feel free to check that out. Subscribe for more free videos. And I'll keep them coming thick and fast. And each subscriber means a hell of a lot. So you're not just pressing a button. You're making a... A grown man, a very happy man. So get on board with that subscribe button, like the video. That'd be really great, guys. Thanks very much. I'll see you all next time.